The House of Representatives says it is worried about the low morale among personnel of the Nigerian army due to the poor living conditions in military barracks across the country. The chairman of the Committee on Army, Abdul Razak Namda, stated this at a budget defense interface with the Chief of Army Staff, Farouk Yahaya. National Assembly correspondent Jokia Adisa has the story. Days after he raised concerns about the danger in underfunding the Nigerian army, the chief of army staff is before the House Committee on Army to defend next year's budget proposal. The army chief kept the performance of the Nigerian army budget for personnel, overhead and capital costs as at 31st October 2021 at 78%, 73% and 100%. He again underscored his request for a review of the subsisting envelope budget system which over the years has been a major challenge in adequately funding the Nigerian army. He says the 579 billion naira proposed for the military formation <laughs> for 2022 is rather inadequate. Sir, the last two years has indeed been challenging, especially due to coronavirus, COVID-19 for short, which affected the global socio-economic activities, including that of our dear nation, Nigeria. The attendant negative consequences hinder our economy and seems to allow insecurity to fester as observed in the north central, northwest, southeast, and southwest. The situation compelled the National Assembly to consider supplementary budget 2021 to stem the tide. So the supplementary budget have been partly funded and some critical hardware have been ordered and are being expected soonest in the country. Committee the Chairman Abdul Razak Namdas echoes the fears of the Army Chief as he admits a lot needs to be done to urgently address the problem. He says the soldiers can be their best only when they are psychologically stable. That the morale of your men in respect to accommodation is low. A lot needs to be done in that area. This is because your men can only give you their best if they are psychologically stable or are well accommodated. It is the wish of this committee to also draw the attention of the president to the plight of our officers and men living in dilapidated structures scattered across 138 barracks in the country. Proposing 28 billion as capital for the army in 2022 budget is very inadequate. Even if the entire money is to be used for rehabilitation of barracks alone, it will still be very inadequate. Mr. Namdas also said the 28 billion naira proposed as capital budget for the army in the 2022 appropriation bill was inadequate. The meeting later went into closed doors, which lasted over an hour. The committee chairman spoke to newsmen at the end of the meeting. It's not what army proposes that it is accepted. There must be uh, envelopes, and that is a challenge that we are faced with. For instance, in 20, last year, the capital is 29 billion. Today, this year, 2022, it is 28 billion. So instead of moving up, it's coming down. And this budget is about capital. The appeal of the Chief of Army Staff is that the National Assembly approved the 710 billion naira proposed by the formation as against the 579 billion naira allocated to it by the Finance Ministry. Jokia Edsa, TVC News, Abuja.